to 149. Jared Papsey will have the honors for Duke, the graduate student, the transfer from North Carolina State against Noah Castillo, the number 25 wrestler at 149. Papsy coming off the two to one decision against Zach Price of Gardner Webb. And that was one of those frustrating ones for the Blue Devils. Really feeling like that was a match they could have won. Papsy, one of the three captains for Duke this year. Now we've got a stoppage and maybe a little shaken up there was Castillo, nine and two on the year. Papsy. One of those guys for Duke that Glenn Lanham said just needs to be able to put it all together. Maybe looking for him to be a little more aggressive tonight. Being the one that initiates the offense. Castillo, according to their head coach really turned a corner this year, was injured for parts of last season and didn't have enough matches to qualify for the NCAAs. But this summer wrestled for Puerto Rico at the U-23 World Teams, and that seemed to really help him. More so with the, the mental side of things. Not so much worried about the outcome, but just worried about getting better each day. And Castillo comes with a great pedigree, the 2022 Southern Conference Freshman of the Year. He's a junior this year and ranked. Looking for the takedown there, and he gets the three points. So the initial points with 85 seconds to go in this first period. Papsy trying to escape here and at least get the one point for the escape. Under a minute to go. Papsy trying to get back to neutral here. Castillo. And there is the one point. Papsy with the escape. Back to neutral now. 42 seconds left. First period. You know, those wins for Castillo at times last year, and even wrestling for Puerto Rico, and even early this year, too, have been tight matches. And Coach Rochelle said, you know, he's used to winning these close matches, and that's going to really help him as he gets into SOCON action and then into postseason as well. Have to a terrific start as Castillo. We mentioned it 9-2 and two so far this year, and he will take a 3-1 to one lead into the second period. A quick mat return there. And you can see Papsy just trying to stave off this attack here. Riding time approaching a minute for Castillo. Castillo able to keep Papsy from escaping here. Final minute of the second period. Papsy just got to find a way to get back to neutral here. Get the escape, make it a one-point contest. We talked about the last match out for Papsy was a tight one. As a matter of fact, his last three have been very tight. He's lost the last three matches, 2-1, to 6-3, 4-1. 
but unable to get anything going here in this second period. Still trailing by a couple of points. Papsy feels like a guy that's really, really close. He wrestled four years at 141 for North Carolina State, but down to up to 149 here. Looking for his 13th career victory tonight if he can come from the two points down with 31 seconds to go in the second period. Another mat return by Castillo. Six seconds left for this second period. Four and three, and it'll be a three to one lead for Castillo into the final period. Castillo, maybe a little bit of blood will get attended to by the athletic trainer for UTC. And Glenn Lanham wants to talk to the officials here. Castillo chooses bottom. Some final instructions here from the Duke coaching staff as Papsy down two. Papsy looking for the attack here. Duke looking for their first win in this duel tonight. Now there's a one point for Castillo on the escape. That certainly does not help the cause for Papsy, who now needs that three-point takedown to even this one up. He's only got 100 seconds to do it. Papsy going for the takedown there. Papsy grabs the leg. Oh, and look at Castillo with the reversal there. Nobody with any points yet. And now, with 80 seconds left in this third period, it's a three-point lead for Castillo. Papsy pushing him out of the circle there. They fight on. Pushed out there, back to neutral. Exactly one minute remaining in this third period. Three-point lead for Castillo. Trying to move his record in duels to 6-0 and oh, and pick up his 10th victory of the season. And there's a big three-point takedown for Castillo. 7-1, to one, he stretches the lead out with 40 seconds left. Back to neutral, perhaps he gets a point. But now down by five, 30 seconds left it is. Certainly go time here for Papsy. Three more points for Castillo. 10 to two in favor of the UTC 149er. And that will just about do it with 10 seconds left. It'll be an eight point victory for UTC, we believe, 6.3 left. Papsy. And Castillo back to neutral. Oh, sorry, Papsy chooses down, beg your pardon. And that will do it. Another win for UTC. Castillo now 6-0 and in duels this year. He's 10-2 and overall. A eight-point victory here at the 149 weight class. And we move on quickly to 156.